Welcome back. Let's perform the last two steps of our challenge. So we successfully compromised the Active Directory by getting access to the SVC admin account and towards the end of the last lecture we also saw that we can access the backup share and we got credentials out of that share since they were stored in a file that we had an access to. Once we decoded the file content we got the password for that account which is right here. Now let's see how we can use that to our advantage and let's move on to the next step which is domain privilege escalation, elevating privileges within the domain. Okay, let's read what it says. Now that we have new user account credentials, we may have more privileges on the system than before since if you remember, SVC admin couldn't really access anything else but the backup share. But now we got the backup account as well, so the username of the account backup gets us thinking. What is this backup account to? Well, it is the backup account for the domain controller. This account has a unique permission that allows all Active Directory changes to be synced with this user account. This includes password hashes. Knowing this, we can use another tool within Impacket called secretsdump.py. This will allow us to retrieve all of the password hashes that this user account has to offer and exploiting this we will effectively have full control over the Active Directory domain. Okay, awesome. So we know which tool to use. We got provided that tool in the packet that we downloaded at the beginning of this challenge. So the file that we want to access is secretsdump.py. Let's clear this and my packet is in the op directory and I should have secretsdump.py and by the way if you wonder how any of these files works you can just nano it to read the code we already covered python now this may be a little bit more advanced compared to what we coded since it does include classes methods and all of that but nonetheless this is python and you should be familiar with most of the code right here okay now that we know which tool to use, let's use it with sudo since it probably does require sudo and let's see if it does provide anything to us once we specify dash h. So we do get the help menu right here and dash dc dash ip is what we want. It is the IP address of the domain controller. We want to specify it as with the previous commands. The option or the IP address of our target to connect to so let's specify it first, paste the IP address and after that all we need to do is provide the backup account credentials on the domain. So spookysec.local slash backup so it's no longer SVC admin now we want to access backup and the password is backup and it's written right here we can just copy it so or since I already typed backup. 2517860. So 2517860. All right. So we specified the secret stamp, which is the tool that we got provided with to use. We specified the IP address of our domain, and then we specified the full path or full domain with the account and its password that we want to use. Let's press enter. Okay, so we do get some error. Let's see, why do we get the error? Remote operations failed, connection error, name or service not known. Okay, so we might need to also provide the IP address at the end. Let's try it like this. So. Once again, we did provide it right here, but so let's also provide it in the domain. So we use the backup account at this IP address, which is once again, the target's IP. And if I press enter. Okay, now it works. Here we get the hash to all of the accounts on this Active Directory. And specifically, we would most likely be interested in the administrator hash right here. Since with this hash, 
we can actually use a different tool that we got told to use at the beginning of the challenge, which we will see in just a second, to access the administrator account with just this hash. Now, this entire line is not the entire hash, what we are mostly interested in, or what the NTLM hash will be, is just this third part right here, which starts with 0e. So we can just copy it, 0e, and then we can use a different tool to access the administrator account using this hash. So the tool that we want to use, let me just clear this, is evil-winrm. This tool will allow us to gain access to this Active Directory by just providing the username and the hash value. So if I type it, I will most likely need to use it with sudo. And then here I have the command autocompleted from before, but all I want to do is change the IP address because it's not the same. So this is the command, sudo evil dash winrm dash i i will be for the ip address of the target here we specify the ip then dash u which stands for username you want to specify the username and then dash capital h where you will specify the actual hash value for that account which we got by using the secrets dump tool okay let's press enter it might take a few seconds to work and hopefully, if it works, we will get access to the administrator account on the domain. Here it is. If I type, who am I? I am the THM-AD, which remember is the NetBIOS domain that we specified in the first or in the second enumeration of this machine. And then slash administrator, which is our account. And we are in the administrator directory. So we successfully escalated our privileges by getting this hash, providing it to the evil win RM, which allowed us to actually get access to the administrator account. And now let's see why that is possible. Or in other words, let's answer these questions right here. So what method allowed us to dump ntds.dit? And for anyone who's wondering what that is, let me just show you. I exited the session with the administrator. Once we ran the secrets dump with the backup account, remember we got all the hashes, but we get answer to this question somewhere towards the beginning. So here it is. Using the DRSU API method, we got ntds.dit secrets. So we can specify the method DRSU API. And what is the administrator NTLM hash? NTLM hash we already said it's the third part, so just copy it, paste it right here, it should be correct. What method of attack could allow us to authenticate as the user without the password, which we saw one minute ago, once we used the evil winrm, is the pass the hash attack. So with the pass the hash attack, or with the attack that we used right before going to answer these questions, we successfully got access to the administrator account without even knowing their password. We only had their hash, we provided the hash, and we logged in to the account with just the hash. Using a tool called EvilWinRM, which we just did, what option will allow us to use a hash? And here it's dash H, and I believe that's also what we used. Yeah, dash capital H, which allowed us to pass the hash for the administrator account and get access to it like that. So let's do it once again. And let's move on to the flag submission. So flag submission is simply just finding the flag for these three accounts on the domain. So as we are already logged in, like administrator account, we can type there to see if there's anything in this directory. If I go back, type there here. And if I remember correctly, the flag will be on the desktop. So let's go to the desktop directory. Here it is, root.txt. We can use the type command to type it out, root.txt. And here's the flag for the administrator account, which we can provide right here. Now you can log in as different accounts to get access to backup and SVC admin, but it is not needed. Remember we are admin, we can access these accounts as well. 
So all we need to do, oops, go back to the users directory. So we got, went all the way back to the users directory and here are the users. We have the SVC admin, which is required right here. So let's get the SVC admin flag. Let's say that it might also be on the desktop and yes, if it even says right here, they can be located on each user's desktop. So there will tell us the name. And if we type user.txt, oh, it's user.txt.txt. Here is the value or the flag. So let's copy it paste it under the SVC admin and we can submit it should be correct. And here is one more step for the backup account. We just do the same thing. Let's see if there is backup right here. It should be, there's the backup account. Let's go to the desktop dear type prevask txt and here is the flag for the backup account we paste it right here and it should also be correct so we successfully completed the entire challenge of hacking or compromising the active directory and also performing privilege escalation on it to gain access to the administrator account and for the end we provided these three flags which are needed Okay, awesome. Now, in case you didn't understand some of the stuff that we covered here, it's really important what I mentioned at the beginning of the challenge to learn about Active Directory, learn about how it works so you can fully understand this challenge. Now, this is not really a beginner challenge, but it's also not too advanced. It's somewhere in the medium and I believe that's how it's ranked as well. I know somewhere here, yeah, here it is, the difficulty is medium, so it's not too hard, but it's also not for the beginners because it does require knowledge of using these different tools that we covered and also knowledge of how Active Directory works and what type of the attacks we can perform on the Active Directory. So play with this a little bit more. You can redo this on your own if you think that will boost your skills, but you can also cover other machines on try hack me platform there are also free ones there are paid ones and you can cover different machines and practice your skills whether that being attacking a different active directory or whether that being performing any other type of the attack that we covered throughout the course nonetheless thank you for watching and i will see you in the next lecture